I'd look at the way I was accessing adventure, look at, you know, I'd be driving in my big diesel truck all by myself for two hours to go play in the mountains. And that was kind of the moment. It's when I had a lot of reflection and I was like, okay, let's do this. I'm looking at my kids and I'm like, yes, time to change, Greg. The first thing is that you recognize there's lots of adventures in your own backyard and that, that those are really worthy because if you do a lot of adventures in your own backyard, it's like the memories last forever because you keep seeing them during your daily life and you're like, oh yeah, I remember that. And so local adventures is definitely one of the biggest ones. The more human powered I can make it, the better it is. In North America, a typical adventurer has a big four by four with motorcycles or snowmobiles. And I think there's ways to look at it and do it differently that, that can help. I think as explorers and stuff, we're used to sacrificing things for goals. If we realize that we could sacrifice things for goals that are more eco-friendly, it'll work out. And sometimes it's not going as far, it's, it's just biking, you know, ma makes your days longer, whatever, but there's just different ways of doing it. I'm a weekday vegetarian, I don't eat meat all week, and that's a big way to make your, uh, make your footprint smaller. And people are scared because they don't think it's possible or they don't know, so it's hard at first and then it becomes a habit. And once it's a habit, you're like, oh, it's just what you do.